Obvious Audi product placement within the first three minutes. Man, I hope that motorcycle's owner isn't standing right next to it. Oh good, he's not. This is the exact same setting from Taken 2. That's not exactly something to be proud of. Look, the motorcycle can bounce backwards off the rail or it can flip up over the rail, but it definitely can't do both. You both know what's at stake here. We cannot afford to lose that Is M the worst micromanager in history? VW Beatles. I'm pretty sure this girl's only in this movie to say the names of the sponsoring companies. Doesn't anyone operating the train know that is going down so they can stop it? All train tracks have roads running alongside them for just this type of situation. Why is there a random broken piece of chain just sitting atop this rapidly moving train car? This gunshot, this fall, and this drowning would definitely have killed Bond. Adele. Gee, I wonder for whom that bell tolls. I'm sorry to have to deal with such a delicate subject at our first encounter. What, your hairline? Anyway, M never picks up her handbag, but it's gone as she's leaving the room. Some people think we should do more of this. That's dramatic and all, but are we supposed to believe England's top spy base is susceptible to a computer hack that can cause explosions? Wait, Bond is still alive? So he was really saved by those mermaids? That wasn't just a dreamy opening credit sequence? And now we have Heineken. Damn, this movie was paid for in full by the 22 minute mark. This remote bar in paradise has their TV set to CNN. She's the head of MI6 and someone just blew up her office, yet there's no extra security at her house or any security at all? Does this guy say something to Bond, stop, wait for Bond to start doing a different exercise, and then continue talking like nothing ever happened? Yeah, don't kill the bad guy while he's occupied moving bodies or anything. No, definitely wait until you have to perform this dangerous stunt to catch up to him. No, wait, I was wrong. You should wait until this guy builds his gun, then cuts the glass, then shoots this other before you do anything. Definitely trust any screen that has obviously been hacked and click the click here to claim your prize button. Couldn't MI6 just issue a takedown notice to get YouTube to pull these videos? It's almost like this movie is daring us to make this video. Only a certain kind of woman wears a backless dress. That dress is not backless, dude. It's sheer with little frilly things. Oh look, our job came back. It's hard to find this scene sexy when I'm unable to forget the preceding conversation where Bond discovered this girl was sold into the sex trade at like the age of 12. Scene does not contain a lap dance. Hydrogen cyanide? I don't really want to out myself as a secret agent, but that's not how hydrogen cyanide works. Too bad there's not a way to analyze Silva's computer without hooking it directly into the MI6 network. Oh, there's a cracked door. Definitely means the bad guy went this way. How is this train completely empty during rush hour? Let's talk about Silva's plan. This movie is telling us that Silva knew Bond would find this casino chip in Shanghai. Bond would then go to Macau, find this prostitute, get led to this remote island, also Silva could get caught. And then he knew that Q would hook up the computer at the right moment, solve the encryption, releasing him from the glass cage he knew he would be in, and also somehow knew that when he blew up MI6 they would move to this underground location that hasn't been used in decades, is able to overpower all the supposedly trained armed guards after he breaks out, knows Bond will follow him down into the subway, even smirks when he thinks he's lost Bond, but still has this explosive rig so that the ridiculous train will fall down into it for some reason, just happens to have guys waiting at the courthouse, and in a plan that apparently took years to map out manages to know for a fact that M will be at a hearing on this very day at this very time and he'll be able to get there in time to shoot up the courthouse. After the Joker and Loki, this is the third stupidest get yourself captured and then escape with no real other objective plan I've ever heard in my life. What, Silva planned for everything else but not the fire extinguisher trip? Pretty silly thing to leave to chance, Silva. I wish there was a way to know what kind of laptop Q is using. Somewhere we'll have the advantage. Exactly how is it an advantage to go out to Bond's old house in Scotland in the middle of nowhere with very few weapons and no reinforcements? They sold a lot to a collector from Idaho or some such place. Idaho is not a real place. Well, now that I've fired two gunshots, I guess I'm a professional again. Killers who think they're sneaking up on Bond enter through the front gate. Shouldn't Silva maybe have coordinated the helicopter's arrival with the actual attack on the ground by his henchmen? Are they seriously using a flashlight? Are these people amateurs? M is the head of a spy agency. Man, it's amazing how much light there is down here in this water. You know, we've never formally been introduced. You were on a mission with her when this movie opened, like partners. You didn't know her name, but you knew Ronson the Dying Agent's name? Come on. 